Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of Fictional Characters Collide. And remember to thank the animator Spin Dash New for this awesome animation. And now let's get on to the fight. And my idea for making this a great episode for episode 10, let's go to the old school characters. Mega Man the Blue Bomber versus the Yellow Ball of Terror, Pac-Man. It's your rule of the great theme here. It's my job to analyze these characters to the fullest to see who would win in a fictional character collide. Okay, now let's start this battle off with the Mega Man. Mega Man was once known as the known as Rock as Rock, who is actually the son the son of Doctor Light, not a literal son like built son, just like how Proto Man was in Roll. But he's also known as the main protagonist of the Mega Man series. A few years during the time of 2000 X, why is it 2000 X? It's not that hard to tell what kind of year it can be. I mean, come on, you have nine choices, people. 2000X. Well, let me just get away from that rant for a while. Um, during this time, Dr. Light and his partner, Dr. Wily, both worked together to try to make this world a better place with the help of robotics. They made machines known as the Robot Masters that are made to help with everyday problems. But soon after, Dr. Wily has gotten jealous of Dr. Light's success during this time. So he has vowed to take over the world. He has, he has convinced the robot masters to help him during this time. Destroyed and disgruntled by Wily's, uh, Wily's actions, Rock has, uh, Rock has decided to help his, his father, Dr. Light, to stop this attack. But he needed to be upgraded. He needed to be changed. And soon after, he was made into the Mega Man. Oh, and with power, he has a lot. We'll start with his basics to Mega Busters. They might look like weak pellet shots to you people, but they, they're strong enough to actually go through steel doors. He can he, he can even make it even stronger with two freaking blasters from both his hands. Yes, that might kill him, but come on. You want to be awesome, you have to do a little bit of risk. He also can join in with Rush, but that can be considered outside of hell, but we'll still let him use it. Which you can actually transform to give him the power of flight. He can't use any kind of other weapons though what when in this form. He can fly, shoot his missiles, and even have a powerful fist attack. Yes, he could fist people to death people. But during this he doesn't he can't he really can't use any other weapons, so he's pretty much useless, but he can't he can still shoot and fight and do combat, but without his many weapons he isn't that powerful. He's still fast, he can go up against people like Quick Man. But the most iconic thing about the Mega Man is his weapon arsenal. He has over a hundred weapons, but we will be talking about most of them, not all of them. His Metal Blades is what he got from Metal Man, which he, which are lightweighted projectiles can mostly cut through anything. He has the Rolling Cutter, the Quick Boomerangs, the Leaf Shield that some summon a shield of leaves that you can throw at any time but are extremely weak. The Mega Ball and the Sprint Drill, the Crash Bomber lets him do an actual landmine or lets him blast into the ground. The Dive Missile, the Magnet Missile lets him actually shoot magnets to heat his opponents. The Command Bomb is just a giant bomb. The Bubble Bomb lets him trap his opponents inside a bubble. The Atomic Fire is strong enough to actually go as strong as hard as the surface of the sun. The Ice Lasher, the, tarna the Thunder Beam is a actual lightning bolt he can shoot from his magnet. He can shoot out little tornadoes and bubbles and it's our strongest bullets. His mirror buster can reflect energy attacks, so anything with projectiles he can hit right back. His miniature black hole, which isn't a black hole because black holes are known to suck in matter all around it until there's nothing left. But this is shown to be something else. It's only able to suck in a few things and it could be clogged up by concrete. So this would be like something like an artificial weaker version of a black hole. He has the rock throwers, he can he can shoot giant rocks, he can he has the Mega Buster, which is one of his best weapons. He has the Time Stopper, where he can literally stop time, but it but he can't use anything else during that time. Mega Man has achieved many feats during this time. He has defeated Wily a amount of 20 times with 20 different machines. He defeated base. He has fought off against Proto Man, who's actually like his brother. He has defeated future Mega Man somehow, which is, in my opinion, literally impossible. He has survived being, being frozen, burned, 
cut into pe uh, cut to pieces and even defeated Wily, like I said, defeated Wily 20 different times with with, with a good amount of defend Wily machine. He survived. He can lift a to uh, actual building that weighs 60 tons of ease. So with the uh, Gutsman ability, he's able to, to um, double his own strength to 120 tons. But Mega Man does have some weaknesses. While Mega Man has no special weakness, certain environmental hazards, hazards can cause instant destruction. For example, spikes and pitfalls. He gets hit. With if a good enough spike, he will die or fall into a pit, he will automatically die himself. And, in the, and some some initial amount of lava can also hurt him. And also, he's pretty much he's pretty much hot-headed and mostly tries to go all out first and ask questions later. And also, he's not allowed to kill humans because it's one of the laws of robotics. Also, his weapons might be giant and deadly, but each one does have its own ammo supply, and he can run out of this stuff quickly. But all in all, Mega Man is one of the most iconic characters in Nintendo's history, and has defeated Dr. Wily multiple, multiple times, same in the human race and his family. But he does have some weaknesses, and he does, and his weapons do want on short supplies. But is he strong enough to defeat the Pac-Man? Okay, from one game and icon to another, let's get on with the Pac-Man. Pac-Man is one of the most iconic characters in gaming history, and was sh first shown in one of the most arcade ver in an arcade version known as well, Pac-Man, when he was made to eat pellets and kill ghosts. But with Pac-Man, we have to talk about most of his. There's not much to talk about Pac-Man actually. Well, he mostly has a few different abilities, like the butt bounce. It's exactly what it's called. It is called. He crushes his enemy under the sheer weight of his own body. The rev roll is a. Uh, actual kind of like an attack of um, Sonic's spin dash attack. The electricity, he can uh, he can summon an electrici electricity from the sky and even use it as small projectiles. The pack bullets lets him shoot his own pack dots as bullets and attack his enemies. The power pill is a really amazing thing. That's one of his most strongest things. He has different abilities such as letting them eat ghosts, he lets them grow in strength, turn metal, and even increase in speed. During this, he can be mostly indestructible and unstoppable with anyone he fights. In the Mocking Mech, he's a battle suit that he can pilot that he got in one of the actual animated series. And he does have some crazy feats and weaknesses. Where he regularly makes a fool out of the Ghost Gang, which is mostly Inky, Binky, Blinky, and Clyde. He can react and fight while moving at faster than light speed. He defeated King Galaxian and his army, King Anubis, Talkman, Betrayus, Malesix, and even more other stronger beings. He's stronger than Spooky, who can destroy all of pac lands and rains meteors. He's stronger than this guy from the actual cartoon series. He saved the universe from being a spectral paradox. He flew through the solar system without a speed power-up. He grew to the size of an actual planet in one of the actual series. But he does have some weaknesses, people. He can only use one power up at a time. If he, if he needs it, he has to get rid of that one power up and go to another. Some power ups can only work on ghosts, kind of like the power pellet mostly works on ghosts. These power ups have a very clear time limit. They can go up to around 10 to 20 seconds. He needed DS and X Machina to defeat Spooky, so he couldn't do it with his own power alone. He died three separate times in Robot Chicken. I just wanted to put that, people. He died multiple times in other series. He had to get his name changed from Puck Man to Pac Man in order to avoid vandalism. Seriously, fuck Ghostly Adventures. And never that series, people. Never that freaking series, that awful animated series. And also, he can die easily by a one shot of a ghost. A ghost. But he doesn't just need to die by a ghost. He isn't that durable. Easy, easy shots can really kill this man. He, one good, even with a good hit to the face, can kill this man. But all in all, Pac-Man is an amazing fighter who survived against gods. Can go up to light speed, but he does have some weaknesses. His power-ups do limit him, and he can't, and he, he can die easily by one touch of a ghost. But is he strong enough to take on Mega Man? Okay, the combatants are set. Let's settle this. It's time for fictional characters collide.
what an amazing animation. And remember to check out the animator Spin Dash New for this awesome animation. Now let's explain why Mega Man will win this fight. Mostly because Mega Man has a has a way bigger arsenal than Pac-Man can ever have. And with each it doesn't matter if you run ammo out of some of them, he will keep using and keep using and keep using to kill Pac-Man. And Pac-Man isn't as durable as people would kind of say. If he can die from a sim simple ghost, then an atomic fire will kill him. Think about this, the atomic blast is strong enough to go, is high enough to go as the temperatures of the sun. And he can melt Pac-Man if he wants to. With missiles, he can just blow him up, he can slice him into pieces, he can do all that to Mega Man. I mean, to Pac-Man. Pac-Man's only goal is to make sure he can survive long enough until pa Mega Man runs out of ammo, which won't happen because Mega Man doesn't always rely on ammo-based weapons. His Mega Busters can do enough damage to hurt to defeat uh, Pac-Man, and if needs, he can hurt. He can join in with Rush that do more damage. Join light. And also, Mega Man's stronger. He can lift 60 tons when he actually lifted Wily's castle. That thing was 60 tons. It would guts man's strength ability, would double his own strength, makes him be able to lift over 120 tons. He's faster. He can go up against people like Quick Man, who's fast enough to dodge lightning. He can catch up with Meg. Uh, we catch up with Pac Man. Pac Man's never shown to be that fast. And he's not strong enough either. Pac Mega Man has survived way bigger fights than Pac-Man. Mega Man survived fights with Dr. Wily 20 times, with different machines every time, Base, Proto Man, and every kind of ma um, robot master known. Mega Man was just a big, it's too overpowered to, to, be, to do, lose against Pac-Man. In this fight, it's a literal spawn. Pac-Man has nothing against Mega Man. So, in this fight, you have to give it to the Mega Man. And we're never to check out the anime again once more or spin dash me for this awesome animation. But right now, it's time to see the next fight. Next time, on Fictional Characters Collide. Sorry to keep you waiting! dream that's like a far-off memory. A far-off memory that's like a scattered dream. I want to line the pieces up. Yours and mine. You want